so till now in, in our previous videos we have seen couple of scopes and couple of routers uh, but we need to cover few more things also related to the same thing let me cover this in this video this could be a small video to cover up the missed things okay so this is the scopes uh, I mean routers uh, project or routers configuration file which we have seen this is first successful let me just rename it we have already seen this first successful right okay right so now let me create a new flow um, instead of first successful let's uh, see about this uh, what is that round robin router so let me add listener let me rename this flow as round robin okay and in this listener uh, we can use the same listener but path could be we can mention round robin so what this round robin router will do we have seen choice router and the first successful router so what this will do means it will uh, segregate or uh, it will actually send the request if we send the first request first route will execute if you sec uh, trigger it second time second router will execute if you uh, trigger the endpoint third time third router will execute if you triggered uh, for the fourth time again first router will execute like that it will send the uh, request or uh, calling of that particular flow uh, one by one it will share the uh, i mean share the calls between these three routes but it is in a round robin mechanism like a one by one one by one one by one let's see how it works okay uh, now i am ju i just copied that logger round robin start logger we can say and here you can just drag and drop the round robin okay see by seeing this icon itself you can at least understand like round robin one request two request third request again it will loop again it will loop for the uh, for the so the same three routes one by one one by one and here also you can observe there is no default block just like in i mean uh, like in choice router we don't have any default block for this round robin so for this let me add set payloads at least three routes okay just like we did for first successful let's see how it will behave this kind of uh, round robin uh, router requirement is also you will you will get a uh, very rarely okay so i'm just adding it so here route one and in the payload also you can just say route one route 2 route 3 let's see by executing this uh, routes you will understand how this will behave end of round robin okay let's save this let's uh, put a debug point here see always if you want to learn any new connector or if you want to learn any new functionality in new soft it's uh, always suggestible to put some debug points and run it in debug mode so that you will see how the execution is happening in the debugger itself so it will be easy for you to understand instead of reading a couple of documents instead of going through multiple videos just try by yourself in this way okay so i am just running it in debug mode mm -hmm. another one it's already uh, running so let's 
and just close it the another stop the server for the previous uh, run and i'm just renaming it okay so I'm just checking. Is there any other major things we have to cover and all? Okay. Yes, scatter gather we will see, and batch scope also we will see in our upcoming videos. We have covered almost all the major connectors. Right? Yeah. Now we have seen almost all major connectors or major uses okay fine yeah let's go to the console yeah it is deployed uh, so uh, what is this here it is round robin what is, that is the path right let me just copy this path and let's just uh, simply uh, trigger it without any payload maybe no payload required for this get method okay so yeah let me just click send and it is opening now yeah see in the round robin it, it uh, went here let's go to this debugger it will execute by the route one done first request okay so you got response like route one let me trigger it second time see second round is getting executed so once your application is deployed if you are going to send as many as requests it will segregate that request among this i mean it will not segregate it will just uh, manage or route those requests for all these three routes one by one see route two is your response let me trigger it again third time third route should execute see third route is executing let me send this for the fourth time what will happen again first router will execute right See, first route will execute. Like this, if you want to avoid overload of one route uh, to manage multiple requests and all, you can just use for this round robin uh, router. It will uh, execute uh, all the requests, each and every request by each and every route, one by one, one by one, like that. Okay, this kind of requirement is also very rare, but you should. It's better you should understand or you should know how many scopes we have, how many routers we have in MuleSoft. It is very better for you, even in terms of interview point of view or even for your practice purpose also. I hope this is helpful for you. Okay. fine now yeah so yeah even if you got you got this uh, loggers and all as well okay fine so apart from this we have to cover one more thing uh, until successful we have already seen uh, for retry uh, we have couple of connectors uh, see for this http request in the advanced uh, yeah for this you have a reconnection strategy okay for few connectors you will not find this reconnection strategy that is why you need to go with until successful in some cases but let's see what is reconnection strategy uh, i will try to uh, explain this by using database database insert uh, just for trying okay so see few of the connectors if say for database or salesforce or any other system is down for some time uh, it will not uh, able to connect and it will throw an error okay to avoid that and to avoid the message loss we can go for until successful but what will happen in until successful is until successful will not segregate connection errors or data errors 
even even for the data errors it will try multiple times it means like let's say for example if you are not sending a query parameter or if you are not sending uh, ex uh, required body parameter correctly that is a kind of data error the system is able to connect there is no connectivity issue username password and the third party url rest api url everything is working fine it means connectivity issue is not there but the data is not correct so even in that uh, even in that uh, case itself until successful keep on trying for retry that is not a meaningful uh, scenario right so in such cases maybe you can just use for this reconnection strategy reconnection uh, strategy for few connectors for few connectors uh, reconnection strategy is not there uh, for those you obviously we need to use until successful but for this database and for salesforce uh, and for a few other connectors i didn't remember you can just check i will show you how to check that you can just check what are the connectors having reconnection strategy and what are few connectors that doesn't have the reconnection strategy so even if for any connector you want to check reconnection uh, feature is available or not you what you need to do you need to just open the properties and go to advanced tab so in this advanced tab you will find um, a tab called the connection reconnection strategy so here by default it is none you can configure it for forever or standard forever is not the best practice because forever means it will completely block one thread it will keep on trying for reconnecting uh, trying to connect to that particular third party system uh, regardless of data error or anything it will try keep on trying uh, that is not suggestible way by mule soft and that is not the uh, correct practice also in general so what we can do we can use standard mechanism standard reconnection strategy and here you can try i mean sorry you can configure reconnection attempts how many times it should attempt so in general we will uh, we will uh, generally we will give three reconnection attempts three reconnection attempts means it will try four times plus one we, if you remember the until successful you will get this because first time obviously it will try apart from that the reconnection attempts three times is there no? so it will try another three times as well and this is the frequency of milliseconds like before it is trying for the second time or third time or fourth time how much time it should wait to again uh, send that reconnection uh, i mean to trying to reconnect to that particular system so this is how you can configure the reconnection attempts so once you configured this standard reconnection strategy with the three attempts it will try three times uh, until that three times it, i mean three fourth time uh, four times it will not send any uh, error if it is uh, throwing error even for the fourth time it will send the error response just like we see in until successful then uh, yeah then that would be uh, i mean then you can you should, should handle that uh, in, the, in such cases right so this is about reconnection strategy and uh, retry mechanism is also there for let me just try and do. we have not yet covered the sales force by this time we will cover it uh, in next sessions yeah reconnection strategy is there for sales force also you can configure standard one okay yeah we will see salesforce in detail in our next session so this is what you can do uh, for uh, retry re connection strategies and all and you have validation modules also so if you want to check the input payload we have already seen uh, uh, one thing to generate there is number or something like that so validation module is also there in mulesoft we have lot many operations in validation like this these are all the multiple operations of this validation module you can uh, use it uh, as per your requirement like if you want to check the input payload is number you can just uh, drag and drop it uh, so if you want hey, what is it one second yeah so if you want to check the input payload is number you can just to use this um, is number validation operation you can uh, give the value here which value you should check a variable or payload maybe for example where's dot um, age let's say for example we have a variable called age we have already stored somewhere in our flow now you want to check if that age value is coming as integer so the number type you can mention here you can mention the type here integer so if that number uh, sorry if that age variable is coming as an in integer type of data if it receiving the integer type of data it will send true 
it will send true in the background it means like it is success then the next components available um, let me show you so then the next components available after this uh, validation uh, uh, module will work fine because it send true here if the input payload like if the variable age is not coming as an integer if it is coming as a text or well uh, float value or any other data type it will send false in that case you will get exception the components after this validation module will not get executed okay it will send error here itself so these validation modules are useful when you want to do some filter kind of mechanisms uh, even in your flow itself instead of processing everything and uh, instead of throwing the error at the last of the end of the flow or in middle of the flow some somewhere based on some situations you can just use this validation module uh, the operations which are related to your uh, particular requirement let's say if you want to uh, if you want to uh, check one mandatory field, use blank string you can use. Let's say if you if you have one field called uh, what is that email ID or maybe mobile number. We stored that mobile number in some mobile variable name. So let's say if you you want to receive the mobile number mandatory for any registration. So is blank string. It means or maybe just string it is, it is showing string I just wanted to explain you some example or maybe instead of mobile if you get confused um, first name maybe first name is string now so first name is mandatory field for example so you want to receive first name value for sure if it is if you receive it is blank you, you should not uh, execute all the other components uh, in the in your flow so let's say if that is your requirement you can use is blank string validation so is blank string i'm just checking where's dot first name so if the where's date first name is blank string blank string aithe it means like dantlo meek a value raakapothe ee variable lo a value meek raakapothe that is a blank string in that case it should throw error if it is true if it is true it should throw error error option you can say error message you can write we received we have not received value for this first name field field like that if it is false means you received the value so it will execute another components so like that based on your requirement you can select any of these operations so in your practice purpose please do practice all the validation operations by uh, reading the name itself it is easy for you to understand by is empty collection is if it is false it is not blank string something so just to practice all these validation operations in your uh, POC or in your practice this is really helpful for you if you have uh, if you get any kind of these requirements in your projects so this module is very helpful for you okay so that's it these are the few things I missed in previous videos uh, so I think this video would be little small but uh, it is very useful for you okay so please do practice let's meet in another video thank you